Hey everyone, this is Lala from the Cabal of Evil, and I am here doing a solo let's play of Hatofo Boyfriend, aka that pigeon game that's been out for many years now, and I'm pretty sure like everyone and their mom has played. If not, you should get your mom to play it. Although I'm not gonna get my mom to play it, because that'd be weird. Um, somehow I've managed to stay mostly spoiler-free on this game. I know of like one or two characters, I don't even know their names, but I know of them, and I know there was like some kind of weird cannibal ending, whatever. So yeah, this is pretty much my first time playing. Um, I played like maybe like three or four minutes of it just to make sure it worked, but I haven't really gotten into the story, so with that said, let's go date a bird. New game. St. Pidgeo Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeo... I guess it's Pigeon Nations? St. Pigeon Nations, please enter your name. I'm definitely not using my name, so... Yoko it is. Tosaka, okay. Is Hiyoko Tosaka okay? Yes! Hatafo Boyfriend includes a powerful vis visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? No. I'm here today, you're a pigeon, not a human looking pigeon. Human cloaked pigeon cloaked. Oh, whatever. I'm here today, bird! Configuration saved. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. There's just something really weird with that sentence. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Uh oh, I guess that's where I'm gonna meet someone. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. This voice is probably gonna be forgotten about in like three seconds. Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Hiyoko. Overslept? Ryoto Kawara. I am not gonna remember any of these names for so long. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. So, okay. Do these, like, gifted birds have bird lifespans? Or people lifespans? Because that might be kind of important. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was- oh, wait, who am I? I don't even know who's speaking right now. Clearly doing voices might have been a mistake. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota! Oh, the bell already! Come on, we need to hurry to class! Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. I cannot believe I already forgot both of their names. Oh, okay, so Ryoto's the pigeon. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. What were you doing? Hatiful boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. First term. They're fatter pigeons at pit. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here! Good morning, everybody! Oh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? 
Dear God, can you date this teacher? This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously soporific math teacher. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Oh, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shiragana. Oh, I- this is one of the characters I actually have heard of. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But who doesn't want to introduce himself? But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane la belle Sakuya. I kind of just want to, like, take that tail and, like, stick it on a stick and use it to dust things. Or just, you know, like, grab him and use him to dust things. Anyway, it seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make an... It, oh my god, really. Would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Dust with him. Sakuya sits down, glittering daggers at Ryotomi. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Creep. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who f I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Tosaka Hiyoko, a sophomore. What about you? You're... Nageki! Fujishiro Nageki! Freshman! Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Or he could smoke a lot. Leave me alone! He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait... Isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years... My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey... Wait just a- I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. 
the ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. <laughs> you heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Huh? <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. This fan tail pigeon is Sakaya Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. He looks like vanilla ice cream. You're Hyoko, right? How did you- I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you yet, though. Probably a twisty business. What is all for today? Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Oh shit, look at those pigeon drugs! Excuse me. Nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they put all kinds of drugs in here. Fuck pronouncing that. Care to find out? Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, blah 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 blah, or even worse things. And I'd never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor! You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota. Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah. <sighs> Finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Oh my god, that's cruel. 
I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cool, cool. This is no pudding for a mom. Cool. Oko-san rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! Betrayal? Cool! Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members! Cool! But this is no pudding! Hosted, scorned, betrayed! Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most! It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cool, cool! Spare the jest, young lady! Oku-san used wig attack. <laughs> it's super effective! Okay. Cool! The rule of the day they crossed Oku-san! He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn! He will! Cool! Oko-san must now train to achieve true pudding! Farewell! And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Huzzah! Oh, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you well know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Oh, because this time only for the track team! That's good. What about you, Shirogana? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho! Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Uh... Um... Sure, let's go hang out with the creepy smokers. Long bird. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an elective day! What should I do? Okay, so we've got stats, wisdom, vitality, and I'm guessing that's charisma? and Or charm? Or... Doing the cha-cha! Attend... Math class, gym class, me ooh, there's a music class! Music class. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Wagtail rag, ha ha ha. Wait, what just went up? Yoko leveled up! Charisma increased by five. Hooray! I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view's nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. There's nobody here. Uh, I wonder if it'd be okay to close early. Uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. See, I have no idea who this is. Okay, planning to jump off the building. The window there is rather good for that misreceptionist. My, my. Gasp! Oh, it, it's the smoker. Nageki, when did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking that I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? 
um, books are nice, I like books, books are nice and they're warm when you burn them, but you shouldn't unless you're dying in the cold all alone, or if the communist party comes and steals them from you. That's what happened to my grandpa. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touché. You should slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Jesus, what? Jesus, what? Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Jesus, what? Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Honey, you're not a bird. Criminy. Criminy! <laughs> oh my god. Honey, you're not a bird. You're not a bird. You're a people. Birds aren't people, that's right. I said it. Oh, Christ. Today is the hike. <laughs> we stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Uh... I forgot who half of these people are. What is it, Osaka? Break isn't over yet. Um, I wanted to talk to you, sir. Your friends are out here. Why not talk with them? Do you not want to talk to me? No, that's not what I meant. You're a funny girl. Tosaka. Wait, no, I haven't said anything yet. And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. I wonder if he has some sort of illness. I hope he's okay. God damn, that was so fast. It's already May. Um, uh, okay, so what do these actually... I should probably push buttons. What does this do? Oh god, oh god, that was fast forward, so I don't push that. Um, crap, can I go... Back? Okay. I found out what that button does! <laughs> uh, I'm guessing math will then increase wisdom. Let's do that, since like, one is pathetic. Okay. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm, maybe you should review the basics a little more, Kosaka. Yes, sir. Ta da! Hyoko leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Went from one to six all year. Uh, I imagine you're all about the work a bit. The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. Oh, Katie's playing Hexels Plus. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Oh, because will have no marathon! Indeed he will! You do have a lot of stamina, Okusan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. I don't think that's... Okay. Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. Bong. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Okusan's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. I forgot who Yuya was.
was. But he's cheered on his brother, maybe thing. What the Casanova? Not the doctor. What was the doctor named? I'm so bad at this. Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the. Uh... <laughs> go to the library. You can actually go to the library and skip out. Like, realistically, that is absolutely what I would be doing. Either that or just not go to school. Um, you know what? Let's run a three legged race. I'm just gonna spread my affection everywhere. Oh, are you joining us? Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set, go! Ryota's running for both of us. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. The first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. We're getting them back today. I don't think I did too well. Tall soccer. Yes. Hmm, I don't think you did too badly. Yeah? Not to mm, nap so you did badly. Uh, no. Can I have it next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. This game is so weird. With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Yoko. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pen board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... <laughs> He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pigeon Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Should I be speaking with a French accent for him? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, launch is nearly over. Adieu, Yoko. <laughs> this is awful. I apologize to every single French-speaking person on the planet. Mm, today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... What do they eat? Like, is it all just bread? Croutons? Oh man, they would imagine the sucker who was like dried rice out there. I go to the store. I go eat. I like food. I like food. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. What the fuck? Yeah, my favorite. What the fuck? Cool. Oh, no, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. A familiar voice, indeed. Cool. This is not pudding. I know you said so. Come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Sans of the pudding here it went nuts. I stopped her from going on a rampage. Ow! Cut it out, Okasan! Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! Help me, Yoko. Um Leave it to me or let him go. I wanna see a rampage. Let him go! Don't you realize he's a fantail? Uh... Go! Silence, Fulbor! Sick burn, sick burn. Once freed, Okosan rampages for a while and then comes over with a satisfied expression. Go! Okosan loves her, gentle madam, but fake pudding cannot be forgiven! Very well. 
Sun in the forest and me and Tatara village are love pure. Carry me, carry me away on- what the fuck? Who the heck is you cool? That's exactly what I want to know. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Okay, what does this folder do? I'm actually going to click on it now. Oh, it lets you save. Yeah. Oh, Christ. That was a weird question mark. Preferences? Hot dang. Okay. That's cool. Um, I actually have no idea how long I've been going, but I'm going to call here a good stopping place. So that's been interesting so far. <laughs> um, we'll keep playing some more next time, I guess. Oh, my vit vitality went up. Was it because I was doing the three-legged race? I don't know. This game is weird. This game is so weird, and oh my god, honey, you need to get, like, a house with four walls, not a cave. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time, I guess, on Codifo Boyfriend. I- what the hell?